Oh. your garage treat, don't you? You know what you get a treat whenever you comes in the garage. Let's get you one. Oh, what's this? And who's your favorite person? Thank you. Well guys, my table uh, project is working pretty good for down at my cabin kitchen. But I brought up a few bricks from the cabin yesterday. This is my leftovers from the grill and the oven I made. And uh, I think I'm going to make a uh, little rocket stove if I can put those pieces together the right way and uh, see how I can uh, make it with this. Now, I'm still thinking how I'm going to build it, but we'll start playing around with it now. I want a little crack out, so I'll probably put that one on the bottom. My high temperature mortar. Yeah, guys, like I always say, I'm not an expert in anything, so don't judge me. Just gotta do our best here. I did watch a couple of videos there on how to mortar bricks, and of course, like everything in the world, it varied a bit. Some folks were saying, you know, a full centimeter or you know, at least a three eighths of an inch or whatever, but I don't think I'm going to go that much just for this project. Squeeze them together like that. That'll be our platform right there. Now, yeah, guys, I'm not going to bore you with every little step of this. I'll probably put the camera on time lapse and uh, just play some Legos here. Well, I got that much done. Uh, so I think I got enough mortar there. I might put a little bit. Uh, Maybe on the uh, outside edges after. You know? What I mean, like right here, you can see like a, a seam there and stuff. So I might just uh, put some in from the outside after to close the seal it off, make it a little stronger. And I shifted these here. I first of all had these pieces here out to the front, but I moved them back after and made a little ledge here for laying stuff on. It's nice to have a little ledge out in front. I found that with the oven and the, and the uh, grill too. So now, I somehow got the engineer and put uh, a piece or two up here. I only got scraps left, right? So, maybe I can have a couple of them. Like that. And somehow put them up in the front right here. Alright, so we'll give that a try.
Ah, looks all right. So, of course, I'll take this piece out and I want to dry it. it. Takes, I don't know, 48 hours or something, I think, for it to really set. So, I'm gonna go around, those, around the edges now and put a, a little more in those little cracks here and finish it off. I can imagine all you bricklayers out there doing some pretty good squirming right now. What is he at? Well, it ain't the prettiest, but uh, as long as it's strong, stays together, and there's no air leaks, and uh, we're good anyway. Check back now, guys, once she uh, dries for a day or two. Well, it's been drying a couple days there now, guys, and um, I went ahead and put these things on after, uh, and I extended them over the back a bit. Because I figure if you were, uh, you have to have some sort of an elevation there anyway to let the air flow out. If not, you'll just choke your fire out immediately. So there's enough air flowing underneath there. And uh, where I got those extenders on the back, imagine this was a kettle. And you're uh, trying to boil the water, you just slide it back to add more sticks in here if you wanted to. And you can just bring your kettle back right over the main fire again. I think it should work out okay. Now I'll go ahead and... That's a bit looser than I thought it would be. Let's see where the stuff dry, I guess. Take that out. And there you have it. So, you build your little fire here. It'll come right up through there, the chimney. And the kettle will latch there. So, all this stuff looks messy. Of course, because I don't know what I'm doing. So, I went to the store and I bought uh, these two uh, discs to go in your angle grinder. This is actually called a masonry uh, type wheel and it's supposed to sand or grind on the outside edge there and this is called a gator blade just a uh, sandpaper basically and uh, so I'm gonna try the two of them now I'll, I'll try this masonry one first right on the side here and see if I can't just you know kind of smooth out these edges a bit make it look make it look a little bit better this out of the way another little project I'm working on but you have to stay tuned to see what that one's all about What do you think, my dad? Big butt. Big butt. High five. That's pretty aggressive. I think I'll try the other one. Look at that sandpaper one on this time. Oh yeah, that's way better. Hmm, works out pretty good, but it shouldn't be doing too much damage to the to the uh, sanding discs or anyway. see it or not but uh, you can even see that the uh, dust is coming up through the chimney it's probably a good sign it's gonna work well sir I think that uh, turned out pretty well I'm really impressed with that uh, sanding disc you can level stuff off and you have to be careful with it actually because even that's a bit aggressive eh? Well, like even right here, I just uh, chose to smooth down the rough corners that were you can see. So you saw I couldn't reach in here with my angle grinder, of course, and I couldn't do it right here. But uh, I was amazed at how sandable that uh, that mortar was. So that's a good thing, you know. And I'm really doing all this for practice for when I mortar my uh, pizza oven and, and grill. So this is all good practice. And uh, I'm, really, I'm really impressed, I must say. And what do you think of my Spider-Man Band-Aid? That cute or So that's it for that, guys. I think she's ready to uh, go out and give a try next. Well, guys, I'm really pleased at the way this turned out. Um, now, how it's going to work as a rocket stove, that remains to be seen. It's going to ultimately end up at the outdoor kitchen at my cabin, of course. And I can't wait to put it in its place. But you know what? I think I'll take this out for a skidoo ride. 
and have a first try at it out in the field. Let's go. Got there, you rascal. Lots of the birch around, lots of old twigs. Let's get her going. There's bottled rabbit, carrots. There's some heat coming up from there now. Holy smokes. And this is why I put these extenders on there, guys. So you put some more uh, wood in to shift your kettle or whatever back there. And you can put your you put your sticks down that way if you wanted. Get them all in. And you 
your kettle back out again. You hungry? We're gonna have some of that now. Should be cool down enough now. Oh guys, that rabbit was delicious. And now we're gonna have that cup of tea to follow it up. Man, it ever working good. We'll look at her belly full. You can put the sticks in from the bottom or up the top. Either way, it works fine. Well guys, that certainly worked out well. That was a nice little project, you know, and a good practice for when I do mortar my uh, my oven and my grill. So it was all good. Always fun to do a quick little project like this and they can take it out in the woods, you know, and have another day walking around. So I can imagine those bricks are pretty warm right now. So I think we'll take off, go for a walk, look for some chaga, just pass away a couple more hours here before we head out for today. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in again today. Like and subscribe to catch us on the next video. And until the next video, take care of each other, get outside, and enjoy everything outdoors. See you next time.